Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at working with dimensions and some of the tools to modify the dimensions placed in the design file. The last thing that you want to do is drop or explode the dimensions that are in your design file. So hopefully that you will find these tools helpful. We've got a uh, cross section of a road here and what we're going to do is do the dimensioning on this uh, typical section. So I'm going to use the linear dimension tool here and snap into some points and place the dimension all the way across this typical section. I do have association lock on, so as I'm placing these dimensions, they are associative to the elements that I'm snapping into. I'm going to continue to dimension the entire typical section here. Now that I got the dimension placed, I want to show you some of the manipulation and modify tools that I can use. I'm going to use the modify element here and I'm going to grab the dimension line and you can actually raise and lower the entire dimensions. I can also grab the text. If I need to move the text side to side I can do that. Also if your dimension style is set up correctly you can actually pull the text off the line and get a leader back into the line. Once it's pulled out you can get it back in line by just snapping down and bring it until it snaps back into the in line with the dimension. Then if I need to split a dimension, I can use the Insert Vertex tool. Using the Insert Vertex tool, I can actually take any dimension and split it. And then you can see here I took the 22 foot and split it into two dimensions, two 11 foot there. Then if I want to delete a dimension, I can use Delete Vertex. Identify the dimension line or extension line there, and that will get rid of the dimension for me. So you can use the Insert and Delete Vertex tool on dimensions. Now in this scenario, I've got a dimension that's already associative to an existing element. What I want to do is drop association on that dimension so that I can pick it up and move it to a new element. So I'm going to modify it now that I've dropped the association and snap into a new element. By snapping into the new element, it's now associative to that new element. this up a little bit and the last thing I want to show you here is modifying the text. Right here I've got 11 foot in the text line. If I want to modify the text I can use the edit text tool and you can see that there's actually an asterisk in the field there. That asterisk represents the actual value of the dimension but I can override that by just typing in the word varies and by accepting that now that text is placed in the dimension for me. If I want to get it back to the actual measured distance I can just put in the asterisk mark again and accept it and it'll go back to the measured distance. One last tool I want to show you is placing dimensions and there is a, an option there to select multiple dimensions so by drawing this crossing line I can actually get more than one dimension placed at one time placing multiple, multiple dimensions. This concludes our tip with working with dimensions and the tools to modify them. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials and tips, visit our website, envisioncad.com.